Hi, and welcome to Coffee with a Therapist. I'm Jenny Helms, a licensed clinical marriage and family therapist. And today I'm here to talk about a different take on the second presidential debate. A lot of people are gonna be talking about what was said, what happened, how much boundaries were crossed, but I am here to talk about the different traits that each presidential candidate showed that signified if they were trustworthy or emotionally safe. I am going to utilize the work from Brene Brown's research on trustworthiness, and she talks about, I think it's seven different traits. It's boundaries, reliability, accountability, vault, integrity, non-judgment, and generosity. Boundaries. I would have to say that both parties struggled with this, but Trump, I believe, struggled with it the most as far as respecting the boundaries of the timelines of the debate itself. He continuously would cut off Biden and the um, speaker, and essentially he really just struggled to maintain those boundaries, although both candidates str struggled with this. Um, but if I had to choose the winner and the loser between this, um, I would say that Biden was better at maintaining and respecting boundaries and Trump struggled with that more. Reliability. Now, I believe this is something you kind of have to see over time with each candidate. They both seem to have a history of saying one thing and doing another, although I do believe that Trump has shown that when he says certain things, he usually does maintain doing those things. Um, whether you agree with them or not that he should be doing it, he does have a good record of saying what he's going to do and actually doing that. Um, I believe that Biden also has a decent record with that, but he may struggle with it a little bit more um, based on if you look over the past history where he's maybe said one thing and then things came to fruition and something else happened. Now, I wanna honor the fact that I don't know the full context of all those decisions. So there may have been other factors involved and he may not have been able to keep his word in that because of other factors that I have no clue about. Accountability. So for both candidates, I think there was a lot of finger pointing versus talking about the parts of, you know, different situations and different questions that they had struggled with and really owning the parts that um, maybe they didn't get right. That being said, I was actually kind of surprised to see that Trump, more so than Biden in the second presidential um, debate, did take ownership of certain things. He would say things about, um, yes, I messed this up first with the, or I didn't have the information and made some bad calls about the coronavirus. And he owned different things and in different ways. And I didn't quite see that happening from Biden. So in accountability, I'd have to say that Trump won that part of emotional safety. Vault. I would say that it would be a tie. So when you were hearing Trump talk about different things, it seemed like he was calling a lot of people out and throwing them under the bus, so to speak, and throwing Biden under the bus, so to speak. And Biden did a lot of that as well, right back at him. So I think that I'd have to call this more of a tie because I, I think both of them struggled to maintain their ability to keep things about themselves and not throw the other candidate or even other people that are associated with the candidate under the bus. Integrity. I think I would have to also give a tie to integrity for both candidates. Um, I think that they're saying the hard things even though maybe other people don't necessarily agree with them. I've at times maybe wondered if Biden would, you know, say things a little nicer and more flowery than he really um, means it. But that being said, I think that Trump can really struggle with saying things a little too bluntly. Um, but if we had to like basically name a winner, I think it'd be Trump by just a little bit. Um, that and both, you know, it's really tough because both of them switch positions. Um, I'm going to give them a tie when it comes to integrity non-judgment so this one i kind of laugh about because they both really struggle with non-judgment and to be fair they are arguing why they're a better candidate so it makes sense that they would have a really hard time stepping into the shoes of the other person and seeing their context 
Um, I'm gonna say both of them failed at this and give them both a tie for failure at non-judgment. Generosity. So I actually had to pull out my phone because I was trying to remember who showed a little bit more of this. Again, they really both struggled with it when it came to how they saw each other, but Trump actually did show some generosity when it came to how the scientists were originally coming out with information. And he said that, you know, they were allowed to make mistakes. They happened to be good people. Um, you know, trying to assume the best about that situation first. So surprisingly, Trump actually did show a little bit more generosity than Biden. Just for the record, I am not advocating for either of these presidential candidates. I really feel like you have to make your decisions based on more than just a presidential debate. But in the second presidential debate, it seems like, you know, there was just an ounce more of these emotional safe traits in Trump than Biden. That being said, overall, I've seen a history of Biden having some more emotionally safe and trustworthy traits. And so I am not here to throw either candidate under the bus in that way. Um, I don't know their full context, but regardless, I think these are areas both of them can work on when it comes to healthy leadership. And I really hope that they do look into that and maybe consider some of these, these factors when they go into future debates um, and just have different events where they're having to speak to the public. Full disclosure, I did fall asleep for the last 30 minutes. You can see it in this picture that my lovely boyfriend took for me. Um, but yes, I did wanna share that I didn't see the full uh, debate, but I felt like I had enough information from the first hour. What parts of this video resonated? Were you surprised by the results that I found? And if so, maybe there were things that you saw that I didn't see and I would love your feedback. Um, ultimately, I'd love to connect with you and if you have any questions, feel free to email me or DM me at your convenience.